Coming all the way from Los Angeles, Brian Allgaier gives us an exclusive look at Ratchet and Clank 3. Clank has found um, status as a television star, uh, and it's uh, Secret Agent Clank is the name of the show, and Clank is um, a secret agent who uh, defeats his foe with uh, the cleverest uh, techniques. And the characters actually react to him and say, oh, hey, it's Secret Agent Clank. And here Rat's like, you know, I saved two galaxies. And you know, hello, guys. And what about me? So that's kind of fun. So eventually, though, they discover that Veldon's under attack by this uh, robot supervillain named Dr. Nefarious. And Nefarious wants to destroy all organic life, which he likes to call squishies. He's employed the help of the Tyranoids, and they carry weapons and operate uh, various deadly machinery. They um, ultimately team up with Captain Quark, who forms a team called Q-Force, which are some characters from the previous game, and including um, some new characters as well. We've got Skid McMarks is making a return appearance, as well as Al from Al's Robo-Shack in the first game. There's also um, Helga, who's Quark's trainer, and then we've got new characters, Sasha, who's the captain of the Starship Phoenix. And then there's also the Galactic Rangers, which are a robot force that helps out as well. Now we've really um, improved the whole upgrade system, I and mean, it's more of an evolutionary system in that the weapons upgrade four times for the first playthrough. So now each weapon's also getting an, um, a better functional improvement, and it gives players a sense of progression. There's more frequent upgrades that occur as a result. Uh, in terms of the gadgets, we're expanding the um, functionality of the gadgets and that they can also act as a weapon. In our multiplayer mode, we have new skins that you can play. So there are various robots, aliens, and um, potentially a ratchet skin that you can pick from. We're offering gadgets and weapons in a third-person type of game. There's a lot of melee combat that occurs with the wrench. Um, we're using a lot of cool things like um, we've got drones that are very similar to the Synthenoids from Ratchet and Clank 2 that you can use against other players. I think just simply taking all of the kind of wacky Ratchet and Clank weapons and bringing them into an online uh, setting, really what we want to do is we want to introduce people to the online universe. And what better way to do it than to have a single player game that people, the fans can play, and they're like, okay, what's this whole online thing? Because we we still believe a lot of people are somewhat nervous about jumping into the online arena. And on some level, it's very daunting. We want to make that a very easy and simple process and very inviting. And so I think one of the best ways to do it is, is having a single player game.